last night when I was looking back, I remember the year 2014. My first year as director of the newly created Center for Culture and the Arts of Ateneo de Zamboanga University. I was alone in my office, dreaming of a program that will define the center. Then, an Australian lady entered the room. She was wearing a sky blue shirt with the name UNICEF on it. And then I told her about a dream. A dream of using the creative arts as a tool to educate and form the children and youth who were survivors of the siege. And this dream was the start of a journey that will bring together people. The program connected, merged, and brought together not only programmers but also different stakeholders. And through the journey, we realized that it really takes a community to raise a child. Traditionally, UNICEF focuses on the, on the young child, the newborn child in the first few years. But now we really understand that with this very large youth population in the Philippines, we need to focus more on young people and adolescents, providing them with the health, the education, the opportunities, uh, allowing them to dream, and, and sort of you know, working with youth and for youth. Your participation is a learning experience that will develop practical skills such as leadership, networking and communication and that's what we call 21st century skills. So you are unique because you're learning something that don't necess not necessarily school children learn today. Skills that will help you become successful and most of all your success today will shape the tomorrow of this country. Ang pangarap ko para sa kabataang Pilipino ay una-muna uh, ma-realize nila na meron silang potential at they have what it takes to actually change the future and yun nga, to go for it, to go for their dreams. The funny thing about the dream is it is like a virus. The virus starts from one person, and with the right environment and a vulnerable person, you get to catch that virus. And that virus tends to spread to different people given the right environment. As the Supat dream started in 2014 and has quote unquote infected different people and different stakeholders who have 
the same vision and believe that indeed we can make meaningful contributions and meaningful experiences for our out-of-school youth in Sambuanga, the dream just became bigger than me. And now the dream is transcended its original form from an Arts for Development program into something bigger. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the story of our dream.